I'm Jordan, and you're not. And this is my review on the 21 Jump Street movie. So after I saw the movie, I went out and just bought the complete series. The whole 21 Jump Street, you know, with Johnny Depp and Peter DeLuise and all them. So, you know, usually I, I prefer to review bad movies, but this is one of the rare cases where that I think I'll go ahead and do a good movie review. That and a lot of my fans have been saying, you know, Jordan, why aren't you reviewing movies? And so I guess I'll come back to, to do another review. So yeah, I really, really liked or loved the 21 Jump Street movie. I mean, you know, I, I liked it so much that I, you know, I bought the series. That's what I've been saying. So I saw it twice. I saw 21 Jump Street twice. First was to see how it was, and the second was to kind of compare it with the original series after watching a few episodes. And I kind of noticed some similarities in what they did with it. Like, like I think the the McQuaid brothers, how they kind of, they were, went undercover as the McQuaid brothers. And Johnny Depp and Peter DeLuise have cameos as Hanson and Penhall. They come back from the original series. And uh, Judy Hoff from the original series comes back for like five seconds in the movie. So if you're expecting it to be anything like the original series, like, you know, Tom Hansen or Aoki, those characters, forget it. You're not going to get what you want. It's more like a continuation or kind of like a, like, you know, 20 years after this one, they kind of bring the whole 21 Jump Street program back out of commission, whatever. So, Channing Tatum plays Jinko, and uh, Jonah Hall plays Schmidt. They were, Schmidt was pretty much a loser in high school, basically is like how I am. I was a loser in high school. Nobody liked me. No one cared about me. And Tatum plays Jinko. He's like, he was like a popular jock in high school. Then seven years later after, you know, high school, they meet up in the police academy and they kind of, you know, become best buds, best friends, you know, how, you know, how me and Megan are, me and Justin, whoever, all my friends I have. And so they, you know, they help each other in the, you know, the police academy to become, you know, like the best in their group. And they think they're going to be, you know, badasses and, you know, be all shooting guns and explosions. But, you know, they end up, they get park duty. They're just around in, in the park driving their little bicycles. They're called gay bicycles. Sorry. No offense. So there was like a lot of random jokes that just kind of made it more funny. And, you know, Ice Cube plays the captain, all the, you know, the, the angry black captain who kind of always getting on their case about, you know, what they're doing and whatnot. So they go undercover in, uh, you know, high school to find the, the, the supplier of this new drug that, you know, it comes in, this drug comes in four stages. Like, one is the giggles, one is, you'll just go balls out crazy, and there's um, all these different... They end up, you know, they both have to take it there in front of the the, the dealer just to see that they're cool. And though they, so that, that was a, you know, a pretty funny scene. They kind of just go pretty, you know, really crazy at high school. This one, uh, what, Jinko's teacher, she kind of has a crush on him. She's on, she thinks that, you know, he's a student, but, you know, where were all these horny, sexed-up teachers when I was in high school? Damn it. I think I still could probably pass as a high school student. Maybe if I, you know, take my glasses off and shave my moustache, I could still pass for 17 or 18. I can't see. So, the big, you know, you know, the big, you know, drug deal goes down on prom night, so they, you know, try to you know, stop the supplier and the dealer on prom night, so I'm not going to tell you who the supplier is or the dealer, so you find out for yourself. It's, you know, it really has a lot of hilarious jokes that, you know, I thought were funny and just that, I don't know, like, dick jokes. I don't know. If you like, if you like, you know, dick jokes and sex jokes and just fart jokes and stoner jokes, you'll, you'll enjoy it. It's, it's, it'll be, it's right up my alley and probably up your alley if you, it's like a, the first buddy cop stoner movie. 
it's really, you know, has barely nothing to do with the original series. It's kind of like Land of the Lost, how they did, you know, the, the Land of the Lost movie with Will, Will Ferrell and Danny McBride. I love that movie, too. Just saying. So, yes, I would give 21 Jump Street an A+. And if you, you know, if you grew up watching the original series back in the 80s and you want, you know... There's a lot of cussing. I'm going to say that. It's rated R and has a lot of F words. And, you know, I, I don't ever cuss, hardly. What? And just there's just like a bunch of cussing. So if you're, you know, if you're like not, not too keen on, you know, cussing and just a bunch of, you know, sex jokes and dirty jokes, then you probably won't like it. But it does have Johnny Depp in it. You know, he was in the original, you know, series. So that should be worth watching, right? Hmm? All right. So, yes, I, w I would definitely recommend 21 Jump Street. So, go see it. Right now. It has goth chicks in it. It has Justin Bieber jokes. It has the Taco 12 pack from Taco Bell. It has... It has, it has a shootout, an epic shootout, and explosions, and an epic car chase, and a pink bug. Mm, yeah. Alright, so thanks for watching my review, and this is just to show that I'm, you know, still reviewing movies as well. So, take care.